vlogging. Vlogging. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> You river vlog. Oh, dude, I'm on the vlog. <laughs> hey, how good are Fox Zero Pros, though? How good are they? Shout out Kyle. Shout out Kyle. <laughs> No, not, not bad at all. And it's a, it is a long race. Um, so sometimes it, you, not, you don't have to be the quickest. Uh, that 21 set out here, Troy Dewald, on that cataract collision racing machine, trying to improve his time. That is, uh, Troy is the father to Zach. So trying to improve his time to... And he does improve his time. So Troy Dewald and that Cataract Racing Collision Team uh, 21 and moves to position Last one. two in theory. Coming out here onto the ice. Number to beat to be the number one qualifier, 20.532. And that happened late in the game as Troy Dewald listed as Ryan Spencer on the uh, timing and scoring. But Troy Dewald put himself there just a couple of sleds ago. So there's speed to be found if you're able to search for it or find it. Gunnar Arlo coming out here on the number one sled, coming around here for lap number one. Is Gunnar 15th quick? 21. Vloggers. Yeah. Best guy behind the camera right here. Eagle River this weekend. Um, the vlog hasn't been very good because Mandy's not here, so I wish Mandy was here helping them with the vlog with the camera. But I've been trying to get as much as I can, but we've been super busy um, and not a whole lot kind of going on that I knew what to vlog about just yet because with Catterit building a catalyst mod, it's been kind of last minute and the whole Catterit team finished building the sled uh, just yesterday, so in her shop. So thanks to Zach for letting us use his garage to build the catalyst mod in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we didn't know if we were running it even just till yesterday when the guys got it built and we were able to run it down to the lake to try it. And uh, yeah, we jumped in qualifying with it. I qualified 15th out of 32 on a sled that pretty much never tests never tested or never been on the lake or on the ice so yeah like i was saying um yeah i'll be running the number one cataract sled uh the new catalyst mod pro enduro today um yeah just go out get a feel for the sled just get more and more time on more and more just go out get a feel for the sled Keep feeling out the the track don't have very many laps around the eagle river track except for last year so but yeah the cataract collision guys have just been working to beat hell this this whole past weekend so huge thanks to those guys on what they've kind of done to get that sled out on the track for us <laughs> i don't think she comes out with the strap that, that was a whole big deal that's why the strap was going to get pulled on so you could unfold it Yeah, it's gonna be real close. I haven't watched a bit of racing today. Stupid. I got to watch you know, two F3 heats. 
<laughs> I asked Jim and uh, anything to say, Trevor? If they're keeping the bar cap down for I, I got nothing for you at this point. Though. I have no words of wisdom. Sure. I, it's working better than it did. I hope, <laughs> we, can get, I hope we can keep dialing it in. You're on. Okay, just finish up with the pro enduro. Um, think of the first 60 laps. I think I made my way up to as high as like sixth or seventh. 
I'd say, but then pretty consistently running around 10th. Um, but a little drop in RPMs, and then uh, after the fuel stop, it was kind of maintaining that 10th place. Um, broke a few exhaust springs, so then kind of took the pipe away from the cylinder right there. So, so kind of just a weird, a weird fluke thing to break those. Like that's not a very common issue. So that was kind of a bummer. But uh, props to Zach Dewald and uh, James Hicks for winning. Those are some good guys. So uh, thanks for thanks to the whole Cataract crew for the whole week. It's it's unreal how much work they put into this to have it end this way for, for, for both the 21 sled and the number one sled. So I can't thank the whole Cataract crew enough. So thanks Cam for getting some film. Absolutely.